It is a parent's worst nightmare, a deadly bus crash right here in Tennessee, making national headlines this morning. And it's the third serious crash here in the state in just the last five days. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 17 this morning. I'm Kelly Rippin. We know this morning that six children are dead. The bus driver under arrest and the investigation very much continues this morning. So as the story develops, Fox 17 is live in Chattanooga with team coverage to bring you all of the latest. Fox 17 Samantha Singer live at Woodmore Elementary where students will return to class this morning after this horrific incident. And this is the last day of school before Thanksgiving break. But first, we start with Fox 17's Jennifer Waddell. She is live from the scene of the crash, where the National Transportation Safety Board will be back investigating today. Jen. Good morning, Kelly. We are live here in Chattanooga, just off Tally Road. Want to give you a little bit of an idea as to our location. We are about 10 minutes outside of downtown Chattanooga, about two hours outside of Nashville. And if you look just over my shoulder, what you'll see in the background here uh, is the location of the crash. We are about a tenth of a mile away from the crash itself. Uh, we are being kept at a distance because, as you heard uh, Kelly just mentioned, this is still very much an active investigation scene. I want to get you updated on what's happened new overnight. We do have an arrest in this crash. 24 year old Jonathan Walker. He is this morning charged with five counts of vehicular homicide, reckless driving, reckless endangerment. He is sitting in the Hamilton County Jail right now. Bond set at $20,000. Uh, Fox 17 has also learned that his next court appearance is set for next Tuesday, November 29th. Now, today we already have a lot of local Chattanooga police officers out here. We also understand that the NTSB, the federal regulative agency, is going to be back out here this morning gathering some more information. And here's the background on what we know so far about this crash. It happened right around 3 o'clock yesterday afternoon. That school bus filled with 35, uh, perhaps 37 students. That number is still fluctuating this morning, but they're all from Woodmore Elementary, ranging from kindergarten to fifth grade. Now, this bus somehow lost control, flipped over on its side, crashed into a tree, nearly splitting the bus in half. Witnesses say some of those children were able to escape through the roof hatch. Uh, 23 children in all ended up in the hospital, and sadly, uh, six children in all died in this crash. Five of them right here at the scene and then one more child died at the hospital and as I just mentioned we do have the driver under arrest now of course uh, this kind of tragedy is hard to process uh, not just for so many of you who are watching this morning uh, but if you're a parent or if you have a child in your family uh, you can understand just how heartbreaking this is but even more so for everyone here in Chattanooga and and obviously the families of those children affected we had a chance to to talk with a young survivor who walked away with blood on his jacket, one of his shoes left behind at the wreckage. Were you hurt anywhere? Only on my head. What happened? I was bleeding because when he had to go, he had. What happened to one of your shoes? It was still on the bus when I had got out, and I was looking, and it was still on the bus. And let's listen to a little bit more of what he had to say with regards to the bus driver. He wasn't paying attention. He was going real fast. And we had hit a garbage, a garbage bag. And we had hit a mailbox. And then we flipped over and hit a tree real hard. Listening to that little survivor share his story uh, is one of the things that really just hits your heart. Uh, we can tell you right now that these children, uh, as difficult as it may be for some of them, will be able to go back to school today. Hamilton County Schools will be in session. They will have a lot of grief counselors on hand, though, for anyone who chooses to go back to school today. As part of our team coverage this morning, we have Fox 17 Samantha Singer live. She is at Woodmore Elementary School, where these children uh, attended class. Samantha, give us the newest information from where you are. 
Well, Jen, in three hours, students will be starting their day here at Woodmore Elementary, but without several of their classmates. So to deal with such an unimaginable tragedy today, we they are going to have counselors here helping the grieving students. Okay, now we know the interim superintendent of Hamilton County oversees 42,000 students here in the county. But right now, he and the Chattanooga police chief are making those 35 children involved in the crash their top priority. We're just asking for prayers in our hearts and simply go out to the families uh, for the students who have been transported to the hospital. Some left with their parents, and so we're trying to do everything we can to make sure um, that they're getting the best care uh, possible. Our hearts go out as well as the, the hearts of all these people behind me to the family, the neighborhood, the school for all of the people involved in this, and we assure you that we're doing everything we can to help everybody be as safe as they can, get the care they need, and get the support they need. Taking care of the children that are injured is our number one priority. Taking care of the families who are looking for, caring for, and grieving for children is our second priority. Investigating this uh, incident is our third, and taking care of those who take care of our community is next. Now, like the Chattanooga police chief said, also on the agenda today, the investigation into what exactly happened Monday afternoon. We know that speed is looking being looked at as a definite factor. Uh, the Chattanooga police and the National Transportation Safety Board, they're working together to learn more. Now, part of that includes getting their hands on the bus's black box. A warrant has been issued to remove the informational box on the on the school bus and review the video on that school bus. Like I said, there are multiple fatalities. We are not confirming those exact numbers because the families are most important right now. Now this morning coming up at 6 a.m. Central Time, Fox 17 will be at the press conference here at the school getting more information about the crash and the investigation. We'll bring it to you live and then the chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board hosting his own press conference. That'll be in Washington, D.C., 6.30 Central Time. And we are reporting here outside of Woodmore Elementary School in Chattanooga where school starts this morning at 7 a.m. Central Time. Samantha Singer, Fox 17 News, back over to you. Samantha, thank you very much. Uh, you know, you've heard this talk about the community here and not only are the community members in Chattanooga really trying to pull together to support these families, but there is support coming in from all over the nation and right here in Tennessee as well in, in Nashville. I want to show you something that Governor Haslam uh, has released to us. This is a statement uh, sending his thoughts for these families. Uh, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam saying that he has his thoughts and his prayers all with the victims right now that the state will do anything it can to help the local authorities and the children's families. We also have uh, some feedback this morning from one of our U.S. Senators in Tennessee, Bob Corker, who is from Chattanooga, also addressing this tragedy uh, on Twitter. He said that he spoke with the city's mayor and the school superintendent to extend his sympathies and support. So Right now, there's something else that we need to talk about this morning. We have dozens of children who were injured in this crash. Some of them are still in the hospital this morning, and there is a critical need for blood to try to help some of these children as they, some of them have a long road to recovery. So if you're thinking about a way that you might wanna help in this tragedy, donating blood is one way you can do that. I wanna give you some information that could be helpful here for you. Uh, in fact, here in Chattanooga, the long lines already going into overnight folks lining up at the blood bank here the community really coming out in full force to help the children but they're asking folks to take 30 minutes of your day to donate uh, at your blood centers maybe at uh, mobile blood donation centers overnight in fact fox 17 has learned that some of the blood banks here in chattanooga extended their hours to accommodate all of the people who wanted to come in to help let's listen to what one donor had to say as he was coming out overnight it's kids that are involved so uh, and you know, we went through this a few years ago with adults and it's hard enough, but when it's children and uh, I knew I was O negative and it was, uh, my time was ready where I could give again. 
also a reminder that we still have uh, maybe five or six children in the hospital this morning uh, with critical injuries. So if you'd like to donate blood, want to give you just a few reminders of how you can do that. You do have to be at least 18 years old. You can be 16 or 17 with parental consent. Uh, also, you've got to weigh at least 110 pounds. You have to be in good health. If you're going to give blood, make sure you're drinking plenty of fluids. Avoid caffeine today. You know, this is the kind of thing that you could do uh, on your lunch break. Take a few minutes. Also, make sure you eat a good meal. And if you'd like some more information on donor locations, wherever you are in the mid-state, just head to our website, fox17.com. Uh, so we are live here this morning in Chattanooga. We are about one-tenth of a mile from the crash site. If you look over my shoulder here, uh, I can ask our photographer to zoom in and show you the lights back there. That's where the crash scene investigators are set up right now. Uh, understandably, they are keeping the media uh, a safe distance. I can tell you with regards to the media, we have stations from across Tennessee. Uh, we've got a station from Atlanta here, and the national media is here as well this morning. Now, uh, at the top of our newscast, you heard Kelly mention that this is the third crash uh, involving a school bus that we've had here in Tennessee in just the past few days. I'm going to send it back in studio to Kelly right now. She's going to give us some more details on that, and we'll check back in with you here live from Chattanooga coming up in the next half hour. I'm Jennifer Waddell reporting live. Kelly, back to you. Thanks, Jen, and we will continue to check back in with her and Samantha Singer live in Chattanooga this morning here on Fox 17 this morning. But right now we're now hearing the 911 calls from the school bus crash that Jen was just mentioning here in the mid state that happened on Briley Parkway last Friday. The crash just off of I-65 and it sent 23 students to the hospital. We are in a bus and, and our bus just crashed and I think people are hurt. I wasn't really paying attention because I was watching a movie on my phone, but all I saw was the bus took a really sharp curve and hit one of, one of the sides of the, the concrete side and then looked over on the other side. The panic in her voice. So this happened on the ramp to Briley Parkway, shutting it down for hours. This was a bus filled with Beta Club students from Chester County on their way to Opryland for a convention. Now, Fox 17 talked with the director of Chester County Schools. He says two students still being treated at Vanderbilt Medical Center. The bus is being inspected for any brake problems or possible malfunctions. And Fox 17 also learning police cited the driver of that bus, Christina Mathis, for a crash back in August. The report says she didn't yield the right of way, pulled out of the Chester County High School and hit a car. Now we're told the driver will not face any action from the district until it finds out the cause of the crash. Officials say speeding is a potential factor. Now, you'll remember Fox 17 reporting on another bus crash again, all happening within the last five days. This one happened near Murfreesboro in Rutherford County. The driver of the pickup truck crashed into the back of a school bus with 10 kids on board. The truck driver, 28 year old Marcus Titsworth of McMinnville, died in that crash. Tennessee Highway Patrol says the bus stopped with its flashing lights on. Titsworth did not slow down, colliding into the back of the bus. No one got hurt on the bus, but the bus serves Oakland High School and Control Elementary. So coming up in our next half hour, Fox 17 wants to protect you and your family. We're going to take a closer look at bus safety and what's being done to help keep your kids secure.